What's up, people, man? It's your boy, Spaces, man, and we back today with another video. Now, this video will be the very last video of 2022. We are going in to 2023, and we got so much to come. I had videos planned, but I said, you know, let's just wait until next year since we so close and, and and you got two of them this week so i mean you gotta give it up for your boy anyway today we're talking about novations launch pad with bitwig and it's such an amazing combo that we had to talk about it today so let's go Now, before we get started, you know you gotta like, subscribe, comment, all those different things that you know you gotta do every video. It helps the channel, helps the algorithm, all those different things. Tell me in the comments if you've ever used anything from Novation or if you've ever used a launch pad. So we are gonna dive right in with this. Now I gotta tell the story how switching to Bitwig changed the way that I produce. It changed my workflow completely. It's like I learned all over again. And so what happened was I looked at the Novation and I looked at the Launchpad and the Launchpad Mini and I ended up getting both. And so what that did was it added to my creativity and it helped me with my new way of producing. So my workflow is tweaked a little bit. Now the launch pad is actually made for Ableton, but does anyone know that I'm not an Ableton user? So what I did was I did a little research and I found this one guy, one guy that actually had this thing set up to work with Bitwig, which is driven by Moss. Driven by Moss, had the formula for this thing and many others that he actually has set up on his channel. So you can definitely look up Driven by Moss. He is the help for this particular set. Now how Bitwig really changed my production is this. So with Bitwig you have Lanier and a non-linear setup. And I know you know the difference between those two. If you don't, go look it up. In Bitwig specifically, you have your launcher and the arranger. And I'll tell you how I use this. With the arranger is where I create all of my ideas. Um, I set up my chorus, my verses or parts or whatever I'm doing. I have them set up in these blocks. And with the launcher, the launcher is where I put everything together and make a track out of it. So the two work hand in hand. Now, how does the launch pad work in that? I thought you'd never ask. Let's just take a look at it. Now, this is new for me. I haven't done a product review like this before, so help me with this one. This one's gonna need me a little help, so, but I think I can do it here. So, as you see, with the launch pad, you have all of these buttons on the side, all have different functions. This is an old device. This device is like two or three years old, so it's nothing new, but it's new to me, and it helped with what I do. And so you have all these buttons down here, they're all up here, everything is set up. Now, how this changed is that now with the drum part of this, I'm morely doing like sequencing. And so with sequencing, with the drums, if I go up here and go to chords, you will see the layout change and you have these different colors here. Now these colors represent the pads. So in Bitwig, if you look at Bitwig, I have my drum machine set up. And in the drum machine, you will see I have a couple different um, sounds in there. And so you have the kick, the snare, and the hi-hat, right? And so the way that I have it set up in here is the way I have it set up on the launch pad 
in these in this little area right here now the area that i'm in right now that you're looking at is the arranger now with the arranger as you can see i have a core set up i have my part one part two and i have them color coded and so when you come in here if i go on this thing here and go to session you will see that i have the exact same setup that i have on bitweek so this will be the chorus which is going straight down the exact same way you see in bitwig then you have the second which is part one and then this area is part three now the area that you see here in red is the line that i have chose on bitwig so if i change this to this one you'll see this line actually changes and so one thing you should also notice is that the way that i have the color set up in here the color is set up in here also just to kind of know where everything is which i think is just dope it's just freaking amazing now just to kind of add to that i'll show you this let's say if i chose this to here i got rid of that it brought everything up and you start to see this part line up also based on that and so these lines represent what I'm looking at here, which makes it a whole lot easier for me. All right. And so now with the drums, I want to go ahead and create some drums here. And so I am going to select the drum machine. You notice again, it turns red, but across you'll see this area, which is basically highlighted uh, based on the scenes that I have in Bitwig. So I want to create my drums in scene one so i'm gonna hit scene one it's gonna start recording i'm gonna go back over here so i can dial my drums in and then i'll show you the next step of what i do and how i how i actually do it myself all right and so here we go so i'm gonna go ahead and click here and we're gonna do our drums So now that I have actually created a drum pattern, what this is going to do, the actual sequencing of this is happening now. So if I chose the drums here, you'll see they're lined up. And if you pay attention to the screen, depending on what I hit here, that is the grid resolution that you're looking at. And as you see on the screen, it changes with whichever one I choose. So this, like this is one eighth, this is one fourth, triple, one fourth. You can, you get the rest of what I'm talking about. If you're looking at the screen, you're actually seeing this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and stick with the, uh, let's see here. Let's go to one eighth. I think that's fair. So we'll go to one eighth. As I play this, you'll see the sequencing happening and you'll uh, get an idea of what I'm doing. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to session. I wanna play scene one. And as you can see over here, you'll see they're color coordinated based on which color you're looking at. Now, this will be one, uh, scene one, scene two, scene three, straight down. But because I have them color coordinated, you'll see the actual color that you're doing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play the first one, which is red or scene, which is the chorus on the screen, scene one. I'll go ahead and play that. And you'll see that it's playing. We're gonna go back here and you'll see the actual sequencing happening here. Go back to scene one. Now, if I wanted to add a kick, because the kick is actually chosen here, and if I wanted to add a kick in here, what I would do is this. Now remember, this is in a certain time. This is in the eighth timing. Right? just add whatever I feel. I'm going to add another one here. I'm 
So I can just add what I want. So if I want to go to snare, I go to snare. And there we go. I'm going to add one here. Right? So if I wanted to do something like that. And so, if I wanted to add a snare here, right here, I can add it, and as you see on the screen, it adds and takes away. And that's how I have been doing this. This is what I, this is what I like to call sequence producing, right? And so, I can come in here and just kind of create. Now, let's just say if I wanted to add a hi-hat, now, I know I'm gonna have one hit every, I don't know, I think that's right, hold on. So we can take that, let's go back to the first, okay, we're on the first. So we just go here, um, that's every four, and as you see, it's showing up on the screen. If I wanted to do one here, I could. And let's see what that sounds like. So you notice it's here. Right? And that's how I've been creating is give me all kind of freedom to do that. And with the Novation launch pad, it even makes it even easier. You can also do keys on here. You can do chords on here. You can set key scales and all of that good stuff on here. I normally use my native instrument stuff for that, my M32 and my A49. That's how I use it. I don't really use this for that. Usually with this, I am setting up sequences. I'm setting up different scenes to see what it sounds like as I play it and I create the drum patterns in here. That's pretty much my production part. So now let's say that I'm done with all of the sequencing, I'm done with the drum, and I'm done with my ideas, and now I'm ready to put it together to actually make a song. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna hit this little button here. It's gonna bring this up, right? So let's say I wanna start with part one. I can drag that over. It'll just drop in place. I want to go to part two, drag that over, drops in place, and then I'm gonna add the chorus behind that. And so now I have this set up. I'm gonna hit this little area here, it's gonna drop, and it's going to play here instead of the uh, arranger, it's gonna play in the launcher now. And so I can. Now, I'm gonna take you even doper than that. All right, so let's say I'll get here and I decide that I wanna add some different things, right? So now let's say I wanna come here and on this last little eight bar, I'm gonna get rid of this. And let's just say I wanna add something else to it, right? So what I'm gonna do is, um, just add some kind of ending to it. So as you see here, I have my capture MIDI, I have play. I can do all kind of different things here, even in the launcher area. And so now I'm just gonna play, I'm gonna record this. You'll notice that it's gonna lead into what I'm trying to do or lead into the area that I wanna play in and then I can add my own MIDI on this end of it. So let's see that. And so now I have a little ending that I added. All right? That's dope. So I can I can even add to it once I get it into the arranger area. I mean the launcher area. I can I can still create on it here. Either way, it's all good. Oh, good. All right, people. So that is my way of my new workflow. It works 
it has worked i i don't know how i missed out on this but we here now <laughs> and we are doing it and it is working i'm enjoying every moment of it and so if the launch pad is something that you're interested in i don't have any affiliation with novation at all but i'm a fan now and to show you how much of a fan i am i even got the mini and the mini is a video all on its own i, I had to do a whole nother video because the setup is different but the outcome is still the same there's a couple different things that you have to do or the setup is different a little bit on here but i mean it is just as vital as the mk3 um the pro it is super dope product man and last but not least man make sure that you are enjoying your time with your family it's the holidays i am so grateful for all of you guys all 1900 of you <laughs> i got 1900 subscribers man i never knew that i would get that high i'm just doing this because i love doing it so it's growing man and i'm enjoying it man but I just enjoy all of y'all, man. Happy holidays to you, however you celebrate it. And let's bring in the new year strong, man. Let's bring in the new year real strong. And I am signing out. It's your boy Spaces. And now, what will you create in yours, man? Until next year, peace.